Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be going over some new Rainbow High leaks and news. So strap in and let's get into it. First up, let's take a closer look at some more Pacific Coast leaks. So here is a new picture we have of Finn Rosado in the box. Real life pictures. Um, he has basically the same sculpt as river kendall he just has a deeper skin tone a deeper tan um and a lot of people thought his eyes looked weird so you know <laughs> but i think he's cute his hair is really cute and fluffy i love the little fanny pack you know around his shoulder it's really detailed and i just really like all the hints of pink uh, really reminds me of a flamingo like and I think that's kind of what they're going for like kind of flamingo beachy pink um, But yeah, he is overall really cute and look at that surfboard. I didn't think he would actually come with it I thought that was part of like the uh, pool set um, But he does come with a surfboard. So that's awesome and a pair of sunglasses. So that looks really awesome So he's really cute um, But you know you know he's yeah he's cute but he's pink and we already we're already getting a pink boy in series four so you know <laughs> but he's still cute <laughs> next up here's bella parker in box now she does come with a really big like uh material hat i don't know if it's straw it's not straw but it's it's a type of material that real hats do get made out of and i think that's really cool because it looks like an actual little summer hat and it's so cute it has something stitched in in black i can't really read it i think it says maybe rainbow or something um but she is super cute uh her braving suit's kind of basic it's just like one half black one half pink um but her little tie around uh cloth is really cute and her face ups a little different her lipstick is a little of a deeper color and her makeup is a little deeper as well in shades and color but overall her makeup's not too different it's it's basically the same like the same structure that we saw in the first version of her just different colors or just a deeper shade of colors so yeah and she does come with a towel and a bag and a pair of sunglasses and yeah she's really cute um and uh we don't really get to see her shoes that well but i do think she actually has flat feet also i'm not sure if all of these dolls come with an extra pair of flat feet or heeled feet molds that you can switch around i'm not sure if all of these dolls come with like that option to switch around the feet um, or is it just the ones who come with flat feet, who come with the heeled position as an extra option? I'm not sure if that's what's happening or if they all come with that extra kind of switch around option. I'm not sure, but yeah, she's really cute. Next up, we have a quick video of Miss Fahidra of Westward. Um, again, pronunciation is never going to be on point for me. <laughs> I keep forgetting, but she is super cute here in box. Someone actually found her and I, f I believe they actually also made a review on her, but I couldn't find the video. So I'm so sorry about that. But here's a picture of her out of the box, her pigtails, her coloring, her scrunchies everything about her is so adorable her little bathing suit with a little zipper detail on the front is so cute as well the printing um her doll stand as well i love the color it's such a nice purple <laughs> and her accessories her purse her towel um really cute and her sunglasses really like a new a new mold uh love that love i think all of them have new molds for sunglasses because we actually don't have a lot of sunglasses in rainbow high so yeah really cute next up we have uh not we don't have margot the perla herself yet but here is her outfit and her stuff on miss daphne minton it does make kind of like a good fit for it does look good on her <laughs> like the little head wrap thingy the little babe like the bikini the little gold detailing the wrap around with the pearls it does look really cute it's really chic i love how it looks on her and i can only imagine how good it will look on miss margot her bag is also adorable i love the actual like fabric detailing here very nice and then here we have um, I forget her name. What, what's her name? Hallie Capri? Something, I don't know. She's like the knockoff Skylar. She has a knock. She has basically the same color design as Skylar. Um, very blue. Maybe more of like an azure blue, like uh, like aqua blue. I don't know. 
but we have we've had so many blues already <laughs> but it makes sense i guess because pacific and blue and whatever uh but it, it this gives me more of like a tropical vibe at least like the scrunchie the visor the bathing suit the little details with that hang around really cute i love all of it next up let's get into junior high so first up we had pictures of some of the outfit pieces on the normal sized rainbow high dolls so here we have poppy's uh, junior high outfit but on a regular sized uh, rainbow high doll um the necklace i'm not sure if she comes with it i don't think so the skirt is not rainbow high it's my scene um because it sh the shorts didn't fit her so um they do have a bigger hip because they are you know the big they are a bigger mold um but everything looks so cute on her like that the 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 the, the flared out sleeves the butterfly tones and the backpack it is really cute on her <laughs> next up we have sunny in her outfit except the skirt didn't fit her so these are harper dunes shorts uh they actually really fit her very well but yeah her jacket is the main main thing here because it's so cute it's like made out of a vinyl material but between the stitching sections those hollow parts um it has like little things inside it look at this like at the back we see like two little uh flat um charms that are actually inside the jacket isn't that crazy and unfortunately there's only two but even i mean just that's such a cool concept alone like that is that is really awesome like actually having little charms sewn into a jacket that are not too bulky so they wouldn't actually harm the jacket but it's still practical like it and it looks cute like are you kidding me that's so cute <laughs> and her sleeves and everywhere else uh that ha it's just a sticker it's just a sticker it's not a charm but it still looks really cute with the actual charms in the back and uh because at first i thought it was like a really boring raincoat or something but no it just like it's really cute so um, excuse me <laughs> and here we have a look at violet in her junior high outfit it does fit her the shirt is very tight on her like it's very obvious <laughs> it's very tight but the skirt is cute and um the cardigan is oh so cute as well like it the outfit is growing on but me. now we get to the realty which is we actually have real life pictures of all the junior high dolls now we have all of them revealed so here first up is poppy um as we can see, those are the shorts she was supposed to wear. She is, they are white shorts with orange stitching. Again, the top, I love the top. Her socks, her shoes. Um, she has like, she's wearing like boots. And I think all of these dolls maybe have like flat feet because they're all wearing sneakers or something. Like they're all wearing flat shoes, which makes sense, I guess, because they're like junior high. But you know, the tweens they're also meant to be like teenagers tw teenagers <laughs> but like you know they're supposed to be like i don't know like more, like younger and they're also like wearing little platform heels or whatever so like i don't see any reason why they couldn't have just given some of these characters also some like platform heels or wedges or something like that because just giving all of these dolls like plain and simple sneakers or boots or like and they all look the same which is the worst part they all look like a very square and very like tasteless i don't know um and usually rainbow high has really good shoes you know so it's kind of surprising but poppy she's adorable i love the details in her hair the little butterfly clips or little scrunchies or whatever she has but they're really cute um again her outfit's really adorable like i really love it but it's just there's not much going on with her face like it's basically the same face makeup that she had in her original version and other than her backpack and her outfit there's really nothing else that makes me say oh my gosh i love her like those are really the only elements that make me want to get her the outfit the little hair details and the backpack <laughs> that's the only reason i would consider getting her and that's not good you should want to get the doll because you want the, the everything on the doll not just her outfit you know i just feel like the face is um I don't know, they're just not doing it for me. They just, they look exactly the same, like the original versions. And I guess, you know, they're supposed to look like themselves. And so I guess it makes sense to make him not look too different. But they like really didn't change anything about the faces. That's what bothers me. You know, they just made the eyes bigger and more 
like googly eyed and more derpy looking and I just don't I don't prefer my dolls to have derpy eyes you know <laughs> and by the way all of these junior high dolls come with the respective color painted on their nails like poppy she had orange nail polish sunny here she has yellow nail polish so if they also have the same size of hands like the original um, rainbow idols you could switch around their hands and then the original versions could have nail polish um, because all of the core dolls now have nail polish on their nails so that's really cool and I know that the cheerleader dolls also have nail polish but you know I'm just saying like it's it's cool for customizing reasons as well that they have nail polish but it's also cool just because they have nail polish <laughs> it's a nice detail but here's Sunny Madison and I I think she looks a little more different to me which makes it a like makes me like her more her she doesn't have bangs she looks different you know and that's what I wanted them to be different poppy she she's cute but she doesn't look too different you know um like she basically looks like the same old in the regular size you know but here sunny at least she has these baby hairs painted on and they're also actually like uh molded onto the face sculpt which like when you look really closely that's really cool um so i really like that they didn't give her just bangs again and uh, no like she has like a different completely different hairstyle and i like it you know it's cute it's it's you know it's fitting and then her outfit her short uh, her shorts uh her skirt is a really bright yellow and i like that it actually fits well with the outfit and everything um the only thing i don't really like about her is that her shoes just really look too similar like the platform sneakers she wore in the in her core outfit they just look too similar like it's just kind of uninspired you know like i feel like i just wish they would have given her a more unique shoe design or anything really because they they really just look like the same platform sneakers that she had on the original size rainbow high doll of her you know but everything else otherwise is cute like she's cute. next one we probably have everyone's favorite of this line miss violet willow in her britney spears hit me baby one more time inspired schoolgirl outfit oh my god <laughs> well obviously she has that look down it's it's basically like a carbon copy of the look that britney spears wears it's it's down to a t the same look all that all that's different are the colors that they use they have the pom-poms they have the tied up white button shirt they have the cardigan they have the schoolgirl plaid um skirt they have the over knee socks they even have the shoes somewhat looking like the same um I just, I'm not sure why they made that choice to give Violet Willow here the iconic look of a, a celebrity. And everyone else in this line just has, just looks normal compared to her. You know what I'm saying? Like she has such a heavily inspired look and everyone else looks just so normal next to her you know i just don't know why they had to make that choice because now she sticks out she she's like you obviously you immediately recognize her because of the iconic look and then you're like oh it's also she's just really cute she's violet willow but where where is that for all the other characters like why couldn't they give every character in this junior high line some kind of inspired outfit look from a celebrity I, I don't know i'm just i'm just thinking like why did they go down that route and give her down to a t the same look of that music video and everyone else just has a plain outfit i'm just curious but she is so cute i do like her outfit i mean obviously how can i not it's such an iconic look you just you 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 you're 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 just you're automatically drawn in love and you're loving that outfit i mean it's just so cute and uh it does look really cool and the pom-poms are adorable <laughs> the shoes are what strike me as most unique just because they do remind me of some kind of um luxury high fashion brand shoe um, i can't think of the name right now but they do remind me of like a very iconic shoe that has that same kind of design with the buckle which is really cool next up we have a ruby anderson now she is my least favorite right out of the gate just because i feel like they went they, they, they just did not have any motivation left for her and i think that's so that's such a shame such they could have gone and hit her out of the pot like they could have given her like a really cool design a cool outfit um a cool hairstyle to boot like but no 
she all she has is a scrunchie and some kind of and a little bit of her hair is pulled up in a scrunchie and she just has overalls which remind me heavily of her winter break outfit which cannot be a coincidence that is <laughs> that is literally like the same overall design just different textures like different printing or whatever um and what what is she wearing underneath like a two-toned long sleeves uh shirt what the what I, <laughs> the most unique part of her part about her is a scrunchie and her necklace maybe everything else is so uninspired i mean she and that's not fair like she could have been so cool looking you know like a fishnets and like you know like some she could have had such an edgy awesome look you know but nope she she has overalls like a like a baby toddler <laughs> as far as my knowledge these are not supposed to be rainbow high baby toddlers excuse me you know like these are supposed to be like fashionable junior high students but she's left here walking around in like a full-on um you know full-on thing i so boring i even forgot the name <laughs> overalls oh my gosh <laughs> now listen overalls can be stylish but even here they just went straight with the most boring version of an overall they could have gone if they would have gone with a version that's like oh she's not even wearing the straps up to her shoulder she's just letting them hang down that would have been even cooler you know like such like a little touch like that that's what she needs but just wearing overalls normal like that it does not fit her personality at all she's supposed to be like very out there you know very like outspoken and stylish you know in the show and here she's just so safe she's so safe you know and i don't i don't i don't know why it doesn't fit her whatsoever i wish she would have done something different if if they have to give her overalls god so god help me then at least make them fashionable because these are just so boring i'm sorry <laughs> like it's just it's not working for her i'm sorry it's, it's not like they're they're okay they're well made sure but they're boring they're really boring i'm sorry ruby she yeah she did not deserve this next up here's jade we already know how jade looks like this is just a recap look on how she looks just to give you a, a recap this is how she looks like um she's cute i guess she has crunchies highlight and she i guess this is the most fascinating part about me for jade um her outfit's okay don't get me wrong but they are using the face sculpt on her that has the little band-aid over her nose now that makes me think that back like back in early rainbow high times when we didn't even know what the first wave was gonna look like um, back then when we even thought that Jade had a different skin color. Remember that? She looked completely different. Um, the first version that we saw her as, she had a band-aid over her nose. And they never used that, that, that face sculpt. They never used that. They never released her with that band-aid detail over her nose. And maybe this is why. Because those leaks were not made. They, 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 they weren't of the regular sized rainbow high dolls at the time maybe they were already thinking of junior high back then but isn't that crazy because they're literally using the same face sculpt that they did not use before for the original jade uh hunter they're using it now for the junior high version of her with the band-aid detail over her nose that's what fascinates me most about her because remember right they used to there there were so many there were so many leaks with her uh the band-aid over her nose and everyone's like that's so cute but then when she actually came out she didn't have that anymore and that and i really did miss that like that really gave her a, a cute touch you know but now they're giving it her they, they're giving it to her junior high version i'm just i'm conf like i'm just i'm thinking was that face sculpt always meant to be for a junior high version of her or did they did they just incorporate that new idea that they didn't use for the original version of her for the new junior high version of her they were like oh we didn't use that band-aid detail on the face scope last time let's use it now is that what they did because it does look cute like that's the only part of her that really makes me feel like she's bringing some something new to the table you know she's bringing something new and she's not completely letting me down like miss ruby anderson <laughs> like 
I don't know, but that's just my thought story. I keep rambling, but it's just so interesting to me when I see that. You know, I, like, I think people even forgot that she had, she was supposed to be released with a band aid detail uh, over her nose in the first version of her back like a year or two years ago. You know, it's been such a while now that Rainbow High's been out. So it's crazy, isn't it? That's crazy. <laughs> By the way, her little backpack is like probably my favorite one of this line, just because look at the snake print material they use. It actually looks very, like very structured and very like hard, you know, it's not like flimsy or cheap. It like actually feels like very nice. And the little um, detail at the top, I just, it just looks really awesome. Like good on you, Jade. She actually you know she also brings a cool a cool ass backpack to the table like her backpack's awesome oh, lastly here Skylar we already saw what she looked like but she again here's just like a recap of what she looks like in case you didn't see her before this is what she looks like she's okay I guess she doesn't look very different from her original rainbow high version and that's what I really wanted for this junior high doll line is that they just show a lot of differences in what they wear and what they looked like and most of them just look like except for Sunny maybe and Violet obviously because she's iconic in her outfit all of them just look very like miniature versions that's what they're giving me and they shouldn't be giving me that they should be giving me like literally like younger versions of themselves but they're just kind of giving me like oh I'm wearing scrunchies so I'm automatically younger you know like no <laughs> now here's also a picture of Skylar uh, not wearing anything so we can actually get it I get a good look at her body mold so she is smaller she is really shrunken down uh she's just really a shrunken down version of the regu regular rainbow high doll um and less hip basically like that's all you need to know. and someone actually gave her a makeover because i don't even know how people are finding these these junior high uh, early releases online i don't know how people are finding these these early versions of these dolls so quickly i mean that's crazy but they gave her a makeover and she does look way better now i love the little side bang she's got going on like the little hair flowing down and then i do think she looks better in a ponytail i don't know why they just didn't give her a ponytail in the first place but that little half half bun you know that was not working for her i'm sorry that was not working for you honey and this looks way better on you and we also finally have a good look at how tall or small they really are compared to a regular size rainbow high doll and so they are they're both on doll stands that's actually not her doll stand that's actually jet dawson's doll stand but it does seem to fit her as well um but so they are really like a head smaller base like they're really they're a little small like they are smaller compared to like a regular size like so that's what i'm saying when i say that's what i mean when i say that they just they're giving me like shrunken down versions of the original you know they're giving me that kind of vibe because uh by themselves they don't really look like junior high dolls they just look like literally like a shrunken down version that's it <laughs> um but at least they are smaller and i just ugh, yeah but that's the size comparison between them too. And here's a look at what they, uh, how tall she is compared to an OMG. Uh, sorry for the weird angle. I wasn't able to turn it around, but she is basically the same height as an OMG doll and uh, a little bigger than a than a tween's uh, a little surprise doll. So that's really interesting. So while I show y'all these cute ass backpacks of some of the dolls, I'm gonna talk about my final thoughts on the junior high line since we have basically seen the reveal on every doll right now um i think the backpacks are really cute they're a really nice addition i think overall the outfits and the quality is still nice it's still well made it looks like um the inclusion of a lot of scrunchies and hair accessories is also nice i'm never gonna say no to that um my, my problem with them doesn't stem that they're not too small or they're not small enough or that they're you know that they're not pretty because they are pretty and they are cute and if i was rich i would buy them in a in an instant you know like it's not about that they're not a failure but they're definitely not what i was awaiting or expecting and i know that having expectations is not fair but it's kind of like a natural thing we all have <laughs> so, um th these are just my thoughts and i just feel like overall i feel like they could have they could have given these dolls a little more personality that's what i would say Th 
in, in whether it be with new face sculpts or new face molds or new face ex expressions or new hairstyles or even just more interesting outfits uh, besides for Violet in her iconic look and Sunny with her really cool new jacket like I want more of that new concepts like that where like Sunny her jacket like you didn't expect to see like actual little uh, charms in the jacket like that I was surprised like that's such a cute detail but give me more of that and like Jade Ruby and Skylar they're all really basic <laughs> um and they're just they feel so uninspired and i don't know why i maybe it's just me i don't know could be maybe i'm just being too harsh but i i see this line as like really like a junior high line and they're just not giving me that they're just giving me cutesy little mini version of regular size rainbow high doll that's what they're giving me they're not giving me specifically like a younger age of this specific character because I see no evolution here I see no like pre-evolution let's say because they're supposed to be them they're supposed to be younger versions so but I don't even see that like I don't see these these dolls and I see oh okay these would be how they would look like if they were younger I just see them as oh safe safe options you know safe options which there's nothing wrong with that but for MGA and for what everything else they've given us it does feel off you know what i'm saying like i just feel like they're cute they're fine people will buy them people will always buy rainbow high because they are really good detailed and good quality most of the time that's a whole other conversation though but um yeah i'm just a little bummed that overall besides for violet in her iconic look even if it is kind of like a cheap shop because basically all they did was take the original version of Britney Spears' outfit and put it onto Violet. Even if that's what it did, it's still a little creative. And um, Sunny's jacket, I feel like that's really creative and her little baby hairs and her hairstyle is a little bit different at least. But And Poppy, I like her sleeves. Everything else on her is just a little too boring for me. Like her shorts, seriously. Her, her boots, like again, why are all of them wearing so, such flat such flat shoes why <laughs> they should have more interesting shoes i'm sorry <laughs> yeah. um but ruby jade skylar they're really just ah they feel so they fell so flat they fell so flat and um yeah so that's what i'm saying that's that, that those are my final thoughts again if you love them good for you i'm happy for you but for me personally i don't know if i'm gonna get them it really depends how they look like on shelves and how expensive they are because they really just come with a backpack and a brush and that's it and i hope they're not too expensive because girl <laughs> girl bye bye felicia like no <laughs> but overall they're cute uh execution is okay and some in some with some characters outfits but eh, it's like a 50 50 for me overall because i do wish they had more personality again in their face sculpts new face sculpts or new face uh face-ups or makeup or or just expressions like just give me new new don't give me more of old you know and i feel like this is just recycling you know but anyways sorry for being such a debbie downer these are just my opinions again and i'm gonna stop talking about them now because we have much more interesting things to talk about one of them being these new body sculpts in a weird shade again these are probably like prototypes uh I, they're this is probably not an actual skin skin tone but <laughs> but um the the interesting part here is that they all have ankle articulation so I, that makes me think maybe we're gonna get a Maybe the future dolls in series in core series are gonna have ankle articulation. I don't know, but um, yeah, interesting. And stuff. lastly, again, I see the best for last. Here is another picture of the Chinese New Year's Collector Edition doll. Um, she's actually not Jet Dawson. Many people have pointed that out, and I'm sorry, I didn't know that. But she just she just literally looked like Jet Dawson to me with that hairstyle and everything. But she's a new character. Her name first her first name's Lily. We don't know her, what her um, full name is, but so yeah, really cute. Again, I still think she's like really a really cute doll, and um, I think a lot of people really like her as well. Just her face sculpt. I don't even know if it's like a new face sculpt or anything. Like that's just really cute, like cute makeup as well. Like I love it. But her. yeah, there was a video, a long ass video at that. Uh, sorry, I just had to get my opinions. I just had to say what I had to say. 
So there it is. And if you are still here listening to me right now, thank you so much. <laughs> um, I hope you could take away any uh, take away something from uh, from anything from this video. So yeah. I uh, hope anyway. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you did, be sure to leave any thoughts or questions you may have down below. Let me know what you thought of the full-on reveal of Junior High dolls. What do you think of more of the pictures that we have of Pacific Coast dolls? Um, and what do you think of the Chinese New Year's doll? Let me know down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. If you don't want to miss any upcoming Rainbow High doll news or episode reaction videos, stay safe. Be kind. I hope to see you next time. Stay peachy. Kisses!